Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. This video is sponsored by my book, Diary of a Fisherman, Volume 2. Links will be in the description below of all the online bookstores of where you can purchase my book. All right, welcome to another awesome edition of Arc Fishing. I'm your host, John Leach, from Berks County, PA. Um, a couple days after we had that major flash flood. Um, looks like the river's back to normal. It might be slightly high, but I think it's pretty much back to normal. I want to start out using a chartreuse stomach shad. It's a two inch chartreuse stomach shad with a chartreuse jig head. I'm going to be using a G Loomis six foot light spinning rod, a Daiwa Revros 1000 spinning reel, and I'm using Suffix four pound test monofilament. All right. I'm gonna start with the chartreuse thumb and shad. If that don't work, I'm gonna switch over to the white one. If that don't work, I'll go from there. So let's hope there's still some fish in here to get, to get all washed way down river. All right, let's go get on some fish. Okay, for this little section of the video, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover. Um, it's very short. After this, it'll just be regular me talking in the camera. I must have pressed the wrong button on my GoPro and I put it in a really fast sped up mode. I have no idea why or how that happened. So I had to, in the editing software, I had to slow it back down and uh, do a voiceover. So there's a nice little small mouth, probably about 11, 12 inches, be my best guest estimate. Um, caught him out of the Schuylkill River in Burst County. I caught him on a chart choose, three inch something shot with a chart choose lead jig head. Um, it was a good day of fishing. It wasn't great, fantastic, it wasn't bad. The short beast getting skunk. I was just glad to catch some small mouth. It's one of my favorite fish to catch. It just gets such an awesome fight. Um, especially in the rapids, just so much fun to catch. One of my favorites. I love catching smallmouth bass out of the Schuylkill River. Fish on number two. Let's get another smallmouth. I love when he pull drag. It's so awesome. Especially on light line. Oh, he's going up. He's coming up there. <laughs> another nice one. It might be 11, 12 inches. Yeah, baby. Oh, he spit the hook on me. Oh, I want to grab and he spit the hook. Water looks low. It looks clear. I'm going to start out with a Ned rig. I'm going to use a green pumpkin and silver Ned rig. And I'm going to use a St. Croix Legend 6 foot 3 inch, a Quantum Smoke 25 spinning reel, and a uh six pound test suffix monofilament clear monofilament all right let's get in this water and catch some fish all right not sure what it is yet it's not jumping oh, what the heck is this oh it's a fall fish it's a nice fall fish i'll take it i want a ned rig yet yeah beautiful fall fish it's the first one of two. Oh, nice one too. Uh, you're freaking kidding me. Uh, oh yeah, that's a big one. Holy moly! Look at the size of this sucker. That's got to be a new personal PB for me for a fall fish. Heck yeah. Let's see what it measures. Fourteen. Look at the size of that beautiful fall fish, man. Fourteen-inch fall fish out of Schuylkill River. I'll show you what I'm using in a second. Look, that's a beautiful fall fish. That might be a PB for me. I have to check. Got your knee thanks for the fight, buddy. So I, I took the Ned rig and I cut it down. They kept short striking it. I'm using a. I think it was a. Three and a quarter inch and i cut it down to about i don't know two and a half inches that was my first cast too after i cut it all right come on stay pegged baby stay pegged i think this one's hooked i had a lot of short strikes man a lot of short strikes i think this one finally hooked up looks like a small mouth too he was on the other side of the river with that tree branch there we go, finally. Small mouth. Little guy, but I'll take him. Alright. 
nothing to write home about, but fish is a fish. Oh, he swallowed, he swallowed that pretty good. All right. Not a trophy, but nice, beautiful, small, healthy smallmouth bass out of the Schuylkill River. I caught him on a net ring called the Drew's, it's called, the color's called Drew's Cross, green pumpkin and silver. So that side is green pumpkin with, hold on a minute, I lost my grip here. So this side is green pumpkin with red flake, and the other side is silver with silver flake. And I cast it over there with that tree and the debris, the tree and the, all the debris and the tree branches. I can't even talk right. Jeez, oh man. That's where I just called him. But if you look up, I started way above where that cement tower is. There used to be a railroad bridge at one time that tore it out. But I went way up. I probably weighed about a good quarter mile at least. That's only the second fish I landed. I had a lot of short strikes. I had one on it got off. I should be on technically number three landed. Oh, I think it's a fall fish. What is it? Oh, it's a big fat rock bass. <laughs> we got three species tonight already. We got a fall fish, smallmouth, and a rock bass. Nice. Very nice. A fat one too. Ow. I think he might have been hooked before. <sighs> Trying not to rip his lip. There we go. Look at that beauty. That's a fat rock bass. Beautiful rock bass on the Ned Rig out of Schuylkill River in Pennsylvania. Catch and release. Thanks for the fight, buddy. I'm not sure what it is, but it feels somewhat decent unless it's just a current. Ooh, is it a rock bass or a smallmouth? Thing's digging. It's hooked, whatever it is. <laughs> so cool. I love the way they jump and fight. Yeah, that's a smallie. Nice little smallmouth. Man, they're so much fun. I'll take them all day long. Oh, he inhaled that lure. Holy moly. He wanted it. Oh, he's not bad. Oh, man. He didn't, this is going to be funny at this out. Man, he really inhaled it. There we go. I got lucky. All right. Smile my bass. He had a crayfish in his mouth, plus he ate my Ned Rig. This little guy's a hog. Catch and release. Ay ay ay, that was one hungry smallmouth. Cast the other side and you hit it halfway across. I think it's a smallie. He's digging. Good fight for a little fish. I love the way smallmouth fight. Uh, yeah, that's a smallie. Gives such a great fight for small fish, especially in the river. Oh, yeah, good hook set, too. Right in the upper lip, right where you want it. Oh yeah, that was a perfect hook set. I couldn't ask for a better hook set on that one. All right, beautiful, healthy smallmouth out of the Schuylkill River in Pennsylvania. Man, look how beautiful and healthy this fish is. I hope you guys are catching that on the camera. Look at that, beautiful fish. All right, I wetted my hand before I grabbed them. Catch and release. Thanks for the fight, buddy. My landhouse will be fish number six. All right, touched them, fish landed. That's fish number six, another smallmouth. Good deal. A little six on a Ned rig. Another nice hook set right in the corner of the jaw and the mouth. Oh, come on, there we go. All right. Another beautiful, healthy smallmouth bass out of the Skulko River. Catch and release. This could be fish number seven. What is this? Give me a good fight, whatever it is. Oh, he spit the freaking hook. Look like another smallmouth. Come on. Oh, he popped off. Where'd he go? He's right there. I think it was a rock bass. Finally, I think it's a smallie too. On a Ned rig. There we go, nice. Now we're talking. 
Give me a fight for a little scrappy fish. Another way to smallmouth fight. I gotta wet my hand before I grab him. There we go. All right. Good deal. I forget what color this is, but all right. It's a little guy, but we'll measure him anyway. So curiosity, probably like eight, nine inches, I'm guessing. Nine inches. All right, little nine inch smallmouth bass out of Skulka River. Beautiful, healthy smallmouth. Catch and release. There we go. Down here at Skulka River, a spot I normally like to fish. I haven't been here a little while. Um, it's using deep pools right here and good fishing. But if you look, the river is really, really low. We need rain bad. Like, I've never seen this section of this river this low. It's been a long, put it this way, it's been a long time since I've seen it this low. Let's put it that way. But uh, I'm gonna start out with a Drew's Crawl Ned Rig. I'll cut it down a little bit and uh, I'm gonna target um, any of bites. I'm just gonna go after whatever bites. We'll see what happens. Come on, stay pegged, baby, stay pegged. It's a little one, but I'll take it. Get the skunk out of the way. <laughs> it's a rock bass. I think that's the one I had one got off earlier. All right, at least we got the skunk out of the way. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh, it's a feisty little fella. That was a perfect hook set, too, right in the corner of the jaw. Woohoo! All right. Little rock bass. Nothing to brag about or write home about, but I got the skunk out of the way. First fish of the day out of the Schuylkill River in Pennsylvania. Catch and release. Thanks for the fight, little guy. I don't know if it's a decent one or if it's just the rapids. I caught him way on the other side in that pool. It feels like a big one. It might just be the rapids, though. But I guess I got a fish on. Just not sure what it is yet. It feels decent. I think it might be a decent one. There we go. All right, I'll take it. What is it? Smally? Yeah, oh, it's a nice little small. I'll take him all day long. Heck yeah. That's a little better. Beautiful hook set right in the top of the jaw. Right in the corner. Look at that beautiful hook set, man. Corner of the jaw. All right. A little better. Ain't no trophy, but hey. Look how healthy he is. Let's turn around and uh, show the other side. Thanks for the fight, buddy. He might be 11, maybe 12. He could push 12. You know what? Let's measure and find out. Let's see what he measures. Oh, yeah, he's only nine. I was way off. Nine inch smallmouth bass. Give me a great fight in those rapids over there, though. He was all on the other side of the rapids in that pool. All right, catch and release. <laughs>